Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to cover the Gistec Flashmate video light. Um, I used this an amazing LED light on my most recent wedding that I covered and it ha helped out tremendously. Uh, we're going to cover a, a few things today, kind of kind of the build quality and um, and how it does just overall. Uh, I'll turn that off. So the greatest thing about this light is you can change the power of it. You're not going to be able to see this because the because the back uh, bright background, but the pa higher and higher it gets, you have control over it, and so that's really a great thing. Um, we use this a ton. We we mainly didn't we didn't use it during the ceremony, and, and I advise try not to, especially if you're outside. There's just no need to use it when you're outside. Uh, you got the natural light, and yeah, I would advise in just using natural light. But as far as ceremonies go, and when the couple leaves, the um, the reception, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing time to use it. And you can see, we'll give you guys an example of what it looks like when we used it. And you can also, the amazing thing about this thing is you can control the color temperature of this light, which is one of my favorite things about this light. Um, you can go from 5500, so really, really cold, kind of cool looking, or sorry, warm, excuse me. And then you can all go all the way uh, to 3200 which is pretty cold so uh, we stuck around kind of in the middle um, and, it, and it worked out perfectly and I, I do have to comment on one thing it is rather large it takes around I think it's six um, yeah yeah there's the back six double A's um, so that's an important feature that you must know but you can also I think think you can put some kind of um, battery on it. I don't know what type of battery, uh, but six AA's are much easier, especially if you have rechargeable ones. Just throw them in there and they get the job done. Once you do that, um, you do have to be aware. It becomes pretty, pretty heavy. They give you um, a hot shoe that you can put on your camera. Um, and so it goes just like that. And you can just put that right on your camera. Um, and you also, it has kind of like a an adjuster of an angle adjuster so you can kind of choose which angle you want to choose uh, which is really cool um, and also I don't you guys probably can't see but on the back of here it tells your battery length and so that's a, it's a that's a huge important aspect of knowing where your uh, video light battery is going to be and if you need to charge them soon or or, or whatnot so I think the build quality overall was great um, the it, it's pretty it's pretty a large light, but you get the power that you want that in that you need in order to produce the quality shots that um, that everybody likes. And so that you kind of have to sacrifice the the obtrusiveness of it um, to for the quality that it provides. Um, and that's the case in most instances. Most really nice cameras are a lot heavier than the uh, beginner level cameras. And so you kind of just have to. It's a trade off and. I think it's worth it. It's just for, up for you to make that decision. So, thanks guys so much. I hope you guys learned a lot. I think if we were to give it a, a five star rating, we would give it probably around a four. Uh, because of, of uh, just how heavy it is. I think that's a big thing. And um, But yeah, overall we loved it. Uh, we'd love to work with it again. So, thanks guys for watching. We hope you, um, the, if you want, the link in, is in the description for this light. And uh, I'll, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions about it and um, let you guys know what I thought. So thanks guys for joining and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.